Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video, we are going to discuss how we can apply or use a standard deviation using calculated fields in Looker or Google Data Studio. So as you can see here in my table, I have the standard deviation of unit price. But if I show you my data, then in our data, we only have unit price and there is no other column which basically specifies that we have calculated a standard deviation over here. So in this video, we are going to apply or use a standard deviation as a calculated field in our charts or tables from scratch so that you can get the awareness that when, where and how we can apply the standard deviation function using calculated field. And before we use this function, let's understand the standard deviation function first. So standard deviation is a type of aggregation function in Looker and the standard deviation function in Looker basically helps us by returning the standard deviation of a set of numbers, right? So as you can see over here in my table, I have category wise a standard deviation of unit price where in this table, we are also showing the average unit price, median unit price, minimum unit price. And then we have this unit price column over here, which is basically a standard deviation of the unit price of each and every category. Similarly, we have this graph over here which shows the standard deviation price and then it also shows the standard deviation of sold items. So let's go and create this graph as well as this table with the calculated field of a standard deviation. Okay. So first thing what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to remove the calculated field which I've already used so that I can show you how you can add this calculated feeds over here okay now as you can see over here in our table we have these four columns and in our data we do not have any column which basically specifies a standard deviation and I have also given the standard deviation syntax over here so for this standard deviation function we have this function syntax which is stddev and then we have this bracket and within this bracket we have a we have to give a numerical field most probably you have seen after this standard deviation x so x or numerical field which i have written over here is the same thing x is a numerical field or an expression that's why i have given numerical field so while using this standard deviation in looker you have to note that x or this numerical field cannot be an aggregate with field or the result of an aggregation function. So what I'm going to do over here is that within this data section, if I want to add a calculated field, I need to click on add a field over here. If you click on add a field, then Looker will allow you to add a calculated field. The first thing that you need to give is the name of the calculated field. So for us, the calculated field will be price standard deviation. Okay. And then Within this formula section, we have to give the formula to calculate the standard deviation. So to calculate the standard deviation, we'll give the function which is std and dev. Once you write std, you will see that Looker's IntelliSense will give you the function or it will start reflecting the function on your screen and you can select that function. And after that, you need to give the numerical field for which you would want to evaluate the standard deviation. So for us, it will be price so for us the price is in unit price okay so i'll select unit price over here and then i'm going to click on save once i click on save you will see that this function does not contain any error so looker has given this formula syntax is valid and you can click on finish as soon as you click on finish you will see that you have a new column in your data which says price standard deviation similarly we can create another column using calculated field to calculate the standard deviation of the item sold so we'll click on add a field then we'll give the name item sold standard deviation and then we'll give the formula standard deviation and then we'll give our numerical value which is quantity sold and as soon as I input quantity sold, you will see that Looker was calculating it that whether the formula syntax is valid or not. Once you see that the formula syntax is valid, then you can go ahead and click on save. And then you can see over here calculated field is saved and then you can click on finish. 
Once you click on finish, you will see that you have a, another column which you had just created item sold standard deviation. And in this table, you can simply add a metric which is price standard deviation and then you can add another metric which says item sold standard deviation. Now you can see over here that we have two columns which we had created just now using the calculated field the standard deviation of the price and the item sold standard deviation. Now what you can do with this calculated field is that you can use this calculated field in your other visualization visits also. Right now I have a graph over here and within this graph I can use this price standard deviation as well as this item sold standard deviation from this data source on which we had created this calculated field this item sold standard deviation and price standard deviation okay now if I click on view then you can see that we have this table as well as this graph on which we have used the calculated field which basically calculates the standard deviation of price as well as the item sold so this is how you can create calculated field using a standard deviation function in looker or data studio happy learning and see you in the next video